Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We've come now to the last chapter. There's 24 chapters in this extraordinary ancient writing called the Gospel of Luke. Today, we'll to look at the first two verses of chapter 24. Let's carry on. Now, on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they and certain other women with them came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared, but they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. So it's equivalent to our Sunday morning. It's the first day of the week. It's a work day. Remember, the seventh day was Saturday, basically. And so it's the first day of the week. They've come now to do their work, to, to carry on and, and do the spices, uh, because Jesus is deceased, and they have his deceased body in Joseph's tomb, put in there Friday evening, right at the edge, right just, just in the moments before sundown. And now it's early Sunday morning, there's a little bit of light, and here they come as they're going to do honor to the body of Jesus. Only they get there, and what? The tomb is open. The tomb is open. What? The tomb is open? This must have been a very disturbing sight. They loved Jesus. They were there to respect him completely, and here his tomb is standing open. It's kind of like you bury somebody, and what, you go there the you go there two days later, and the the casket standing open. Uh, yeah, you'd be you'd have you'd have kind of your feelings would be kind of boiling around a little bit about that. That that isn't right. So this is a very extraordinary piece. And there are the ladies early in the morning. There's just enough light to see, but they could see that the tomb was open. And we'll look and carry on tomorrow and see what happens next. But you might imagine how it would have felt for them to walk up there and see what. The tomb is open, and might, perhaps fearing the worst that somebody had desecrated the body or, or whatever. So, uh, amazing thing rolled away from the tomb, and no Jesus, no Jesus. And so, this is the beginning of all the good things that's coming, because Jesus not only died, he was crucified, the Father accepted his sacrifice for us, but now Jesus is risen from the tomb. He's risen from the dead. He has triumphed over death. Hebrews chapter 2 tells us that he triumphed over death, and this, when he rises from the dead, that's the signal that Jesus has triumphed over death. You and I, we serve a Savior who has been victorious over the grave. The grave could not hold him. It sounds kind of like a platitude, some kind of a sketchy platitude, but it's actually the most amazing thing, and it, it never happened for anybody else. Only Jesus and those who Jesus raises from the dead, only they have the victory over sin and death. So Jesus is risen from the dead. Let's watch and see what happens next. Let's pray right now. Your Father in heaven, the ladies are surprised. They're very nervous because the tomb is empty. And we're going to see that this is a beautiful and powerful uh, thing. This is the center of the Christian hope. Bless us, Lord, today as we trust in our risen Savior and as we follow Jesus today, who is still alive, alive forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, friend, the Lord is on your side. He's alive forevermore. And he will give you the help you need to overcome the, the troubles that you're facing, the temptations and tests you're facing in your life. God bless you today.